turning off to Kushibuak and Point Sapin. Point Sapin? 117 North, folks. And look at that adorable dog. Oh, He's so cute. Oh, he's got his paws out the side window. That's not safe. <laughs> but take him back in. He's too small. He'll fall out. I'm gonna run him over. I don't want that to happen. Here's Kushibuak. Uh, we'll have to pay to get. Park. We'll have to pay to get in here. Take the camera. I'll turn the. I'll hold the camera. I'll give you some cash to get in. Do we have to pay on the side? Uh. Oh. Because we're just passing through. We're not uh, okay. Yeah, I guess you do have to pay for for the weekends. Because we're not stopping to camp, we're just passing through. Literally, that's what we're doing. We're coming into the park so we can actually just come in and... And if they have people going around checking the cars if they have their passes, if you don't have it, you get a fine. Probably won't happen to us. First fire index is at orange, which means high. With all the rain we've had the last few weeks, I'm surprised. We are talking about being outside of the city, which I suppose it might have had that much rain. They Plus, it's it's kind of it's uh, hard for trees, not the situation. Yeah, you're right. They burn very easily, and they burn very intensely. Okay. Take a right, because if you keep if you keep on going straight, you're going to Point Sapin. I don't want to go to Point Sapin as much as I want to go visit. And I may have given you wrong directions. <laughs> Mitch. I'm lost, I'm sorry. I don't know, you keep on going straight, we're fine. Here's a uh, biking trail called Pige Bouguic. <sighs> the names are uh, Amer uh, Native Indian names. Warning, firearms prohibited. Yeah, that, but that's the same for all national parks. In this country, anyway. Park entrance permit requ uh, required. Oops. My parents have done it before just going in without paying, but often they get a season pass. We lead it and they don't. Kushibuwak National Park. Welcome to the edge of New Brunswick, literally. And this is what you get to see. I don't want to repeat what happens. Nice marshlands. Well, marshlands. This is actually part of a, a marshland ecology because it's right next to the water. But it's the fun thing about coming to New Brunswick that you actually get these types of ecologies. You can actually benefit from actually coming to an environment and actually just relaxing, having fun, and seeing and meeting new people. They allow you to come off the, the actual walkway to walk on the closest beach if you want to go and explore. And of course, there's a visitor's tourist center right there with tidal marks about when the high tide and low tide actually appears, which is quite useful, especially if you want to go digging for clams. They used to allow clam digging. I don't know if they still do. I don't think so. But uh, there are phenomena called red tide. It's, uh, it's a type of plankton bloom that actually causes a red mass to, to, to develop. They unfortunately produce a neurotoxin as a byproduct and if the mollusks ingest it, it 
but it's not dangerous for the mollusks. It is fatal for us if we consume it. It is. That's why they actually put in other beaches, they actually allow that you dig for clams on your own, but they'll post when it's allowed and when it's not. If you go when it's not, well, sorry, you're asking for a casket. Yep. So you might as well ask for the side order of a casket if you're actually planning on having your own clam strips. Yeah, and unlike in the unlike in Canada, it's not the case, but in the United States, you can get yours at a cheap discount in Walmart, but not up here. What caskets? There's only Walmart in the states. What? They have a funeral. De some WalMarts in parts of the U.S. have a funeral de department. You gotta love discount funeral services. Now I wonder if the, if the caskets are made from actual wood or press wood. That's what, uh, the, this is a type of bird that we have. I don't know the, the breed's name, but let's just stop a moment to... I know they're aggressive when you get them in groups with the coast of the... There's actually a nesting ground somewhere off in the... Because uh... they're fishing, as it stands right now. They go head first into the water, as you can see that one. No, they, they tuck in their, their wings and they just aim for the water like a torpedo. There's quite a few. It's almost like watching a, it's almost like, like watching a fly dipping and diving for, for food on the surface. Flies. Although, you know, these birds are really damn aggressive if you, can, if you get anywhere near the nesting area. Oh, yes. There is a nesting area somewhere in the park. You're not allowed to go there unless you're some, you work for the park itself. Yeah, but you don't go there just for the hell of going yeah. there either. Uh, to get there, you'd have to go along one of those roads marked for, for park staff only. Yep. Anyways, there's canoeing too. I don't know no, if you can see. Kayaking. kayaking, sorry. There is canoeing, but she's in a kayak. Canoes look different. Is it a he or a she? I think it's a he. <laughs> uh, I think it's a she. I think it's a she. Oh, she's turning for her mate. I've lost my friend or my boyfriend, either or. Anyways. And it is new. Last year when I came, there were no washrooms on the beach. Well, they decided it's either that or we had people pissing and pissing and burying it in the sand. Yes. Why are you digging a pit? That's a shit. Anyways. Here we go, folks. The new facility. Now I'm curious. Let's have a look. Let's see. Is it occupied? Let's see. No, it's not. And it's more. And, and, and it's a hole in the ground. Oh, it does the trick. It goes to where it needs to go. And Mitch was right. It is a woman and a man doing kayaking. I guess I saw boobies. You saw, you saw boobies? Yes. Is that what you say to a woman when you actually meet her, Mitch? Come on, be more suave. I can't be suave. That's the better thing. That's just the way I'm always going to be. Yeah. Okay, what the heck is that? Oh, they're, they have diving suits on. Diving? But they look like wetsuits. I don't know, but the guys look uh, look like bikers. Anyways. Do they have a dolphin? dolphin? There's no dolphins in this water. No, no, it's probably a, a grappling area. As you can see. Anyways. You gotta like, enjoy the dolphins. Have fun with what you got. Know. There were dolphins in Syria because the dolphins a few years ago came up. Oh, actually, they're doing uh, resuscitation. Yeah, they're pretty probably, uh, they're probably uh, training. Oh, they're doing uh, emergency responses. That's nice.